I am here at the Science Spectrum, and I'm here with Alana, and we are in the Thomas and Friends Explore the Rails exhibit. Now, y'all, this feels like childhood, just kind of in this room. It's amazing. So talk a little bit about what this exhibit offers. Absolutely. So it's a super fun, um, engaging, interactive exhibit um, for kind of our younger friends. So pre-K up to about second grade is what this exhibit is geared for, but even adults like you and I <laughs> yes. walk in and get really excited about being in this space. And so it's a STEM-based, hands-on exhibit, and so kids can come in and of course explore um, Thomas the train and can actually get in his cab and kind of pull some of the brakes and the horn and stuff like that with inside the cab okay. and then we have Percy back towards the back of the exhibit he has a wobbly wheel and we need people to help fix it um, and then also once he's fixed we need to load him with coal and water so that he as a steam engine can go and do his job all over Sodor Island um, so it's a really fun engaging space for kids just to come and pretend and imagine and play they can put on a a conductor um, coat and hat and help sell tickets to the train, load up luggage and, and uh, cargo, and then send their passengers on the train as well. So super fun, um, engaging experience for our younger friends. Yeah, and a lot of different kind of activities mm -hmm. for them to do and yeah. incorporate kind of mm -hmm. all of this in it. So how did the idea kind of come about to do maybe do this and also bring that engagement? Yeah, so we love when we're able to bring in, this is just a, a traveling temporary exhibit. We have it open now till January 9th, so sorry. Um, and then we, um like to bring in these traveling exhibits from time to time. Just this is an empty space most of the time that we can use for activities and events, but it's really fun to come and fill it with an exhibit. Um, a few years ago, we brought in Clifford the Big Red Dog from the same museum that we're um, borrowing this one from right now. And so it's just an extra added fun. It's included with your museum membership or your general admission fee um, to come and explore the space. It's not an additional fee. And so we just like to add a little bit extra throughout the year. And what does this kind of, you know, help or add, you know, for parents to bring their kids here when it is very stimulating for them? Yeah, so some kids, when they see this face, mm -hmm. they get immediately <laughs> excited. Like sometimes that just kind of triggers excitement for them. And so they could have seen Thomas on TV or in a book. And so towards the back of the exhibit, we actually have a little bit about the history as well. How Thomas the Train was originally started mm -hmm. um, and then how the toys were made and how the TV series and the books were made. And so we even have a collection of Thomas books that if you just wanted to sit and read a book um, with you and your family, you can do that as well within the space. And so how many people do these types of exhibits that are traveling tend to attract? Um, so we definitely our um, general membership loves coming and exploring this space. And so um, we definitely get a, a peak of interest in people coming. We, we like to bring this in kind of our slower time. Now that school is back in session, um, it's just an extra draw to get people back in the door. They were here visiting all summer long and they're maybe waiting till the spring when we bring in our larger exhibits. And so this is just a way to keep people engaged through the, our kind of slower season. Yeah, no, and definitely in a fun way. And like you yeah. said, for kids, but also I feel like for the parents, because or even like people yeah. our age where we're just ready for that. Exactly. So. Yeah, well, it's, it's fun when you see a character come off the screen yes. or off the page of a book. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you think is important to add? Um, just to hope y'all come and see us. You can follow us on all of our social media um, to see what events and activities and things we have going on. So you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Um, and then our website, sciencespectrum.org, can give you way more information about this exhibit and as well as upcoming events and exhibits as well. Okay, perfect. Well, there's plenty of activities to explore, especially here in this room, and you have until January 9th. January 9th. So come and enjoy it. Bring your kids, bring your whole family. Uh, but thanks so much for talking Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes.